So we've been hearing rumors of new iPad Airs and redesigns of the iPad Pros and that's exactly what we got yesterday at the Apple event. So let's start with the iPad Air. So we got a brand new 13 inch iPad Air and then we obviously still have the 11 inch iPad Air as well. And then they both run M2 chips within it. So it's a slightly better chip from the M1 that we previously got. Obviously with the new integration of M2 to the iPad Air, we got a faster and better CPU and GPU powers. And a lot of this event was talked about AI. So the new M2 and the new iPad are gonna have a much more AI capacities and they're gonna be able to respond to AI a lot more and in what capacity I'm not sure apparently within the cameras and within the actual chip itself basically Apple is talking about AI. The front-facing ultra-wide 12 megapixel camera is now on the landscape mode so now you don't have to hold your iPad as a big iPhone and you can actually hold it sideways and then the camera is there and still supports center stage and again it uses AI to make sure it positions you right in the middle of the zoom call or whatever it is that you're trying to do and it basically moves with you uh, which is something interesting because obviously that was introduced a couple of years back and but it never said that it used AI to kind of manage you uh, or to kind of move to where you were but they mentioned that this time around they actually mentioned that it does use AI to send to you as the name of the feature called center stage so it uses AI to send to you in the middle of the frame. Also the new iPads come in two new color finishes which is a new blue and a new purple and you can also get them in silver and gray for both sizes the 11 inch and the 13 inch. The 11 inch iPad will start at the same price that it started before of $599. I'd expect it to be the same in the UK £599 maybe £575 and the new iPad Air 13 inch is going to start at $799. Again, I'd expect it to be the same in the UK for £799, maybe £775. And now on to the thinnest Apple device that it's ever been created. That's how Apple is marketing the new iPad Pro. So we still have the 11 inch and the 13 inch iPad Pros uh, with a slightly bigger displays. In the case, they still have the same size of a product, but you get slightly bigger displays within it. So slightly slimmer bezels. And we now get OLEDs in these devices as well, which is great because we've been waiting for OLED for so long in the iPad Pro. As well as you now get the option to have nano texture on your iPad Pro. Obviously that's gonna take the price up a notch, but and now you can have a nano texture panel on your display for your iPad Pro. But really, how thin is the new iPad Pro? Well, it's very thin. The 11 inch iPad Pro is 5.3 millimeters thin. Surprisingly though, the iPad Pro 13 inch is only 5.1 millimeters thin or thick, whatever you wanna call it. And it looks incredibly small by all the pictures that you see right now. That to the point that if I ever got a iPad Pro, I will feel very scared of putting that in my backpack. Because I feel like putting it in the wrong place or kind of like even just putting it on my back and someone, or just anything, just really putting it on my back and putting something else in front of it, I think it'll snap in half, but I'm guessing it's pretty strong. And the new internal infrastructure and to be able to achieve this thinness on the device is all thanks to the new M4 chip. And the iPad Pro is in first Apple device with the M4 chip. M4 features new display engine that helps it with a more precise and more color accurate display for this new OLED display on the iPad Pros with Apple is calling it the Ultra Liquid Retina XDR, which it's to be expected. And in terms of power consumption between the M4 iPad Pro and the M2 iPad Pro, which was the last iPad Pro, is it can do the same things at 50% less power. So it uses 50% less power than the M2 used to do. And it does say as well that it only uses a quarter of the power if you compare the M4 chip to the latest PC chip, which again, it's Apple. Take that with a grain of salt, whether it's true or not, I don't know but that's what they're claiming. They're basically claiming that the M4, it's 
only needs a quarter of power to do the same exact amount of power compared to the latest PC chip and it only needs half of the amount of power that the M2 used back uh, two years ago when it was announced for the iPad Pro. To kind of touch on, on the AI topic that Apple did eventually talk about uh, during the event is that the M4 can now or is able to do 38 trillion operations per second with a new M4 chip, which is a lot. And obviously it claims to have an amazing neural engine, which is I believe the second or third generation of neural engine. And it's now being used for AI capabilities within the iPads uh, to the point that now the cameras will start using AI and you have apps within it to use AI and kind of speed up your work process whether it's a creative or whatever other sort of process that you'll need AI for but yeah they did talk a lot about AI and they claim that M4 it's incredibly good for AI stuff just like the iPad Air they moved the front-facing camera to landscape mode instead of having it on portrait mode so and then still has is the same ultra wide 12 megapixel camera with center stage to be able to keep you in frame basically. Apart from all the other announcements of new accessories, so we have a new keyboard for the iPads as well and many different things. The biggest one that not a lot of people was expecting, uh, at least I wasn't, is a new Apple Pencil which they call an Apple Pencil Pro uh, and then basically now it has a full-on kind of like computer inside of the pencil so it has a gyroscope which means that when you turn the pencil or the Apple Pencil in your hand then it will turn basically the brushes. So if you kind of like brushing vertically and you're going up and down, then you can kind of swap around to change either the thinness of the brush or to go side to side and basically kind of helps you with that. Uh, it has haptic feedback that you can basically press the Apple Pencil right on top of the iPad and you don't even have to touch the iPad to just select different things within it. You can also press it and it will hover to show you where your brush might be if you start brushing from that point without having to basically press the pencil onto the actual display. So that's something cool. Uh, price of the new Apple Pencil Pro, it's $129. I believe that's a similar price to the very first Apple Pencil or the original Apple Pencil. Uh, I think the Apple Pencil is $99. So it's not that bad for a slight $30 increase. I th when I first saw it being announced, I thought it was gonna cost like $250. So, I don't know. But yeah, that's all we saw from, those are the four biggest announcements that we saw yesterday at the Apple event. Basically, a, a new iPad Air, a new refresh on the iPad Air, a new iPad Pro with a new M4 chip, and the Apple Pencil Pro. Again, we had a new keyboard for the iPads, but that's kind of like, I don't really care about those things. But like I said, I kind of watched the, the event back in the evening and Apple did talk a lot about AI in this event compared to previous years, it's compared to last year, let's put it this way, because AI has been in the talks for the last couple of years. And But yeah, Apple has not mentioned AI that much until yesterday. So it will be interesting to see what kind of stuff comes from Apple in the AI department uh, when it comes to new MacBooks and when it comes to new iPhones later on this year. But that is all for me today. Thank you for watching and the video. And we'll be back with vlogs in the next few days. See you later.